gentlemen, I'm very pleased to be able to be here at the launch of this particular um, photographic exhibition. Open Cities, as you know, is a British Council project which has then been further developed at EU level thanks to the Arbat 2 programme. And as a result, a network of European cities led by Belfast City Council are working hard to explore and to articulate ways in which migrant workers are making a contribution to the success of our cities. Open Cities is about identifying the links between migration and city competitiveness. And I think the particular emphasis is on internationalism and population strategies. And I think we should be looking to Belfast um, as a growing city and a dynamic city. And in order to keep that competitive edge, then we have to see migration as making a positive contribution. Indeed, I think if we look around the world, some of the most diverse cities are also some of the most economically competitive and indeed some of the most culturally interesting and stimulating places to be. I think by clearly articulating the benefits of inward migration, we can help integration and cohesion agendas within our city. Belfast has well undergone massive changes in recent years. Not just changes in terms of our peace process or our physical infrastructure, but also in terms of the ethnic diversity and makeup of our population. For a very long time, this city was a net exporter um, of talent and population. And people went many miles all around the world, seeking their opportunities in other places. I'm delighted that Belfast is now seen by so many people as their city of opportunity, the place that they can come to to build a good life for themselves, um, and to seek opportunity here. And I find that a very exciting prospect for Belfast because I believe that it brings benefits to all of us. Belfast has already a settled community, if you like, of minority ethnic groups such as the Chinese, Indian, Pakistani and Jewish communities, which have been here for quite a long time. However, with the enlargement of the European Union in 2004, we find a shift in our migration patterns. And we're adjusting, I think, now to a very changing migration situation from Central and Eastern Europe in particular. That coincided with the time in Belfast with huge economic growth and a demand for new workers and skills that could not be met by the local population. However, it's not only in times of growth that migration is important. Even in these more difficult economic times, if we want to attract international investment and if we want to attract new business and into the economy, then we require the additional skills and talents and that inward migration will bring. The increased internationalism and international view of Belfast um, is that we need to be in this one city, one that can welcome people and encourage them to make their home here and enable them to use their skills um, and their abilities. I think it's hugely important we have a lot of people here who have a lot of skills and talents and abilities, a lot of experience, and we need to find ways of empowering employers to recognise those skills because often many of the people who migrate to Belfast are significantly underemployed in the work that they do. And I think that that's not just a loss to the individual, it's also a huge loss to our society, and we need to find ways of better dealing with that. I think migration also offers us important international connections, ways that we can build links with other cities and other parts of the world that offer us the opportunity to grow a more entrepreneurial economy locally. And I think that both that and the skills, and I think the get up and go of people who have literally got up and come here um, is a huge impetus to economic growth and regeneration and also the social change. It's very clear that only through being an open and a welcoming city can we hope to attract the kind of skills, the kind of people and the kind of calibre of people who will allow us to grow our city for the future. And it's only by doing that that we can really be competitive. Sadly, in recent months we have seen where difficulties can arise where there is intolerance and bigotry and where there is hatred in society. And I think that we need to work very hard to ensure that that is not the only picture that people see of migration in Northern Ireland because I suppose just opposed against that are the very dedicated pieces of work that go on throughout the year in many communities around this city to better integrate people into the community and to try and build good community relations. I think it's hugely important, therefore, that we lose projects like this in this exhibition to open people's minds to the possibilities of migration and to encourage people who are already doing hard work in their communities and to be more open and more welcoming and to see the benefits of that. And therefore, I'm really pleased that the British Council project is going to build on that positive resource that we have because in the context of people having significant difficulties, we have migrated to Northern Ireland. I also saw the many local individuals 
who rally around in support of their neighbours. And I think what we need to do is build that positive dynamic and reward that sort of activity so that we encourage more and more people to do that. I think Belfast has a lot to learn from other cities that are much further down the road um, of migration and therefore I think we have to be open to other people's experiences. However, I think we also have a lot to, to give and um, to other cities in terms of our own experiences. One of the things that stands out for me is how important our established minority communities have been in terms of paving the way for new migrants to settle into our community. I mean, one example of that would be the work that the Chinese community have been able to do with the Polish community, which I think has been exemplary in terms of how an established ethnic minority community in Belfast has helped new migrants as they arrive um, to integrate into the community and to be part of something much bigger. I think that that kind of learning experience that we have is hugely important to pass on to other people. I want to thank the British Council um, for the work that they are doing um, in terms of getting this exhibition underway. And I also have to say that I'm pleased that it's here in Victoria Square because I think there is something about this building and indeed many of our other buildings in Belfast that say something about the new Belfast that we're trying to build. It's modern and it's dynamic. It looks like every other European city looks. It feels like a European city when you're here. And I think what it says is a very positive message um, about the future. So to have this particular sort of graphic exhibition for open cities in such, an, in such a location, I think comes together very well when we start to look to the future in Belfast. I see Belfast going forward, not as a city divided, but as a city without barriers, where everyone has a contribution to make, and where that contribution will be valued and celebrated. I'm glad that the British Council are supporting us in that objective. I think this exhibition will make a huge contribution to it, and I'm very happy to be here at its launch.